What's up guys? Earlier of Yuga Tech and today, we will be taking a closer look at Huawei's newest mid-ranger device, the Huawei Nova Y91. Is it a balanced combination between its price and features? Let us all find out in this review. This Huawei Y91 boasts a sleek and minimalist look. The plastic back has frosted finish at the back with splatters of glitter that shivers depending on the angle of the lighting. There's also a gold accent all around the device adding to that premium look. The frame feels sturdy and even though the screen size is almost 7 inches, surprisingly, the device sits comfortably in hand. Overall, it's a good design for its price point. For buttons and ports, starting on the right side, we have here the volume wrapper as well as the sleek weight button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner. Nothing can be found on the left side while down at the bottom, we all have the speaker grill, USB Type-C port, call microphone, and the dual SIM card slot. While up top, we have the secondary microphone. The buttons are placed almost at the top of the frame making it a little hard to reach, especially with smaller hands like me. The unit we have here is in black colorway, but there is a moonlight silver option for a much more shaped look. Moving on to the display, the Y91 features a 6.95-inch IPS LCD panel that has a resolution of 2376 by 1080 and has a pixel density of 376 ppi. The display nicely supports 90Hz refresh rate which translates to a smoother user experience. While it's not the sharpest display out there, the colors are vibrant and viewing angles are decent. The brightness is satisfactory for indoor use, but it might struggle a bit under direct sunlight. But overall, it will suffice for everyday casual use. One thing that I want to point out is that notch that somehow gives a little old vibe look to it as well as the chin. It's thick. Although it houses the speaker, the selfie camera, as well as the proximity sensor, we think that there is a better design housing for those sensors. Hence, we got a pretty thin bezel all around. And when it comes to its speakers, it's one of the best sounding speakers on this tier. It is loud and there's a subtle tone to it and is surprisingly immersive enough. No need for headphones really. Under the hood, the Y91 is powered by a Snapdragon 680 processor that is paired up with an Adreno 610 GPU. It has 6GB or 8GB of RAM with a standard 128GB of internal storage. Everyday tasks like browsing, social media, and light up usage are handled well. However, more demanding apps or multitasking might lead to some occasional slowdown. Casual gaming is possible, but heavy games will require lower graphics setting. We also experienced some slight overheating with this device leading to CPU throttling. Nothing to worry about, but it's worth mentioning. Like every devices we review, we ran our usual benchmarking apps and here are the results that we got. Now, let's talk about the camera setup. The Y91 features a dual camera system with a 50 megapixel main sensor with an aperture of 1.8 and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The camera captures decent shots in well-lit conditions, but don't expect flagship-level performance. In normal photo mode, images are a bit contrasty and saturated to our liking. But overall, there's an ample amount of details and HDR is also present in most photos. The depth sensor aids in portrait mode shots, creating a nice bokeh effect, but it's finicky at times. Low-light photography is a bit challenging, though the overall quality is good and is okay for social media posting. And when it comes to selfies, we are having good projection of skin tones. Though, just like the main rear camera, we are getting images that are a bit contrasty. When it comes to video, we can record up to 1080p at 30 frames per second on both rear and selfie camera. Unfortunately, there is no form of OIS or EIS on both centers, so keep that in mind. The battery life is one of the strong suits of Y91. With its 7000mAh battery, you can expect to get through a full day or even two days of moderate consumption without much trouble. The software optimization helps in maximizing the battery efficiency. Charging is done through a USB Type-C port which has support for 22.5 watt charging. And about its connectivity, unfortunately, the Huawei Nova Y91 only comes in 4G LTE band, which might a deal breaker to some. Aside from that, we have the usual Wi-Fi 802.11, Bluetooth 5.0, GPS, and USB Type-C 2.0. On the software side, the Y91 runs on EMUI 13 based on Android. One of the things that we didn't like about EMUI is the fact that there's a lot of pre-installed apps and pre-made folders right after the setup process. You can easily ignore it, but if you have an OCD like me, it takes extra effort to clean your home screen. Now, if you need Google Apps and Services, 
you can easily install GSpace right at the app gallery for an improved user experience. To sum it all up, the Huawei Y91 is a budget-friendly device that covers the basics quite well. The design is appealing and the battery life is a standout feature. While the camera and performance have their limitations, they are adequate for everyday use. Just keep in mind the software situation and the fact that it only supports 4G connectivity. For the price of 15,999 pesos, we think that the Huawei Nova Y91 is situated on a competitive price point. And because of that, we can give this device a recommendation score of 7 out of 10. Could have been an 8 out of 10 if we have 5G support. And there you have it guys, what do you think about the Huawei Nova Y91? Do let us know in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell icon so you won't miss any of our future uploads. And don't forget to follow us on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Earl, and see you in the next one.